Hi, my name is Axel Willemsen and today I would like to present you the installation of Qpilot. Qpilot is a software from Shoemaker from Cologne and it's a follow me solution with a full end-to-end -end encryption for printing and scanning and also includes an accounting and reporting generator. So let's start with the installation of Qpilot and also the integration of a device, in this case a Xerox Work Center 7855. It's a standard configured device after a firmware upgrade with some EEP functionality on it, but without Qpilot. The extensible server setup shows up that the service browser is on and that there is no authentication configured, so it's standard validate on the device. We can also see with the rec line that there are some EEP functionalities on, but no Qpilot. So let's move over to do the installation of Qpilot. What you get is a zip file that you have to extract. Once you have those two folders, move them or copy them into the folder where you would like to run it later on. So we have to paste it here and open the server folder. As you can see, there is no folder database or only those two files here. And what we will do now is to start Qpilot over here that we can see something and not over the service for the first time. So we start Qpilot and you see in the command line window here that Qpilot is starting. So we move over to a web browser and start Qpilot. The first time Qpilot starts, there is no database connectivity. You can use for demo the internal one, but I just use an SQL server here, SQL Express. And you have to put in the passwords and also the password later on for the web. Say continue and the setup is ready. So you need no IIS or anything else. This was a full installation of Qpilot. But if I create the or do the configuration for the database, I will restart the Qpilot server. So you see everything is shutting down. And after this, I will move over to the services and start Qpilot as a service. So we have to wait a couple of seconds that all the ports and everything are, the, uh, are up again. And then we can move over to the start page or make a refresh. Uh, we have to wait a little bit. You also can just close the window and open a new one if you like and click on Qpilot. So as you can see, Qpilot is there. Um, from an old installation, there are two billing log entries for reporting. But what you can see here is the port status. So everything is green means that no port is used by a different application. So you really see everything directly uh, on the starting page. So what we have to do now is to uh, configure a device. So therefore we use database device combination and we have to add all the information from our device. So we will use an external box and the IP address or host name of the device over here. Um, you can put in a reader ID and the printer type because it's EEP connect key device is smart authentication. We have the printer host description work center 7855. We need a clear command. I will explain this later uh, why we need this. There's a generic SNMP. We will use IPP over SSL, so no LPR, because we are talking about a secure print and secure scan solution. We need an SNMP table. It's a color device, so we use the color dynamic. And we have to use some cues. You can also import all those stuff from a lot of devices over a batch import, but for this, I would like to show you this way. So now we add the device and 
what you can see now is that it still gets the SSL certificate, the server from the device, but all the other things are not configured. So there is no need to move over to the web page of the device anymore. The only thing that you have to do and that you can see something I will bring this in front of is to say apply settings and the full configuration is done now by Qpilot server. It's register the EP applications and also do all the other uh, configuration like the smart authentication, feature access and so on and close the device. So you see everything is green and we can start because we are totally ready with the installation. For the test I use my S3 account so with a simple password and I'm logged in. So I can go to the print job list and I see nothing is in and also under show printed there are no files. So I can do the log out again but I would like to still stay in. Now let's move over to the print driver and say print a test page and I see from the server everything arrived and it's arrived on the server encrypted and is stored encrypted on the server as well. So if we move again to the server under database print jobs we can see that there is my test page with my card number and my login. So if we move back to the device, go to the list print jobs, we set show unprinted. I see my print job, just tick it on or say all and click on print. And if we move to the job status, refresh it. Then we see our print job and it's still processing and printing. So let's go back to the services home. I said that it's a secure print, secure scan and automation solution with accounting. We can use the workflow scanning and there are some stuff in like scan to me, scan to others, scan to fax. Um, but what I created in front of is that I create a button like this and we will use it. It's the scan to me with the connectivity to the email system, so SMTP server. And I said scan. So when the device started, this is also something, um, it creates a searchable PDF, but you can do the logout at this time. So the productivity of the end user is really high, you have not to wait. If we move over to the server again, take a look to database and scan jobs. Then there are no scan jobs because the device is still in uh, pro processing the scan job and there it is. So the scan job is there now. The card number, so it's my, it's built. And you can move over to the notification. So here you see the scan job. It has been sent to the SMTP server, so everything is good. And I will get this file later on in my email account. So let's check the email account. Yeah, perfect. It still arrived at this moment. So you see the document. It's there. Uh, other way that you can use because this solution also includes a mobile print solution, but only for PDF. Just send to a specific email address an email with an attached document and you will see later on that this directly goes into the print job list 
But therefore, because I use an external SMTP server, we have to wait a few seconds. Yeah, and it's arrived. So you also see there is the document. Okay, so you also see some, some stuff of the day on the start page. And it also includes a report generator. So you're able to create reports. Let's just use one of the reports that I have. So um, the type is a device today and say submit and I see all the information about the device, the top 10 devices, um, but I have only one. And there are some, some other reports that you can use details per user, not for Germany, but for, for other countries or group by device, for example, say submit. So also this is in and everything is just with one service. So it's really nice to support it. And it's really nice to use it as an add-on for MPS customer because it's easy to install, it's fast to in install. And if we take a look to one slide from Mike Feldman, you see access and optimize. We can optimize the fleet by using this solution because we have secure printing we have secure scanning, that is the second step. Um, we have information about the data because uh, that this solution uses SNMP. We can get a lot of information. And later on, by using the scanning functionalities, which is based on the native functionalities of our devices, mean XST, um, we are able to automate and simplify a lot of more of the processes of the customer. And this with one service, with one application. So we have a single point of control next to our, XS, uh, our XOS tool suite. Um, and yeah, hope you like it and see that we have alternatives to other follow me solutions where we sometimes need follow me and scanning solution. So two different solutions. And this solution integrates everything in one with the highest security standard that we are having at the moment. Thanks. Bye bye. <clears throat>